In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new unstructured grid functionality offered in LeapFrog to create two and a half D unstructured mod flow grids. So now you can define boundary conditions based on features within your model. So boreholes, wells, rivers, faults, etc., with either 2D unstructured layered grids or fully unstructured grids. We can import USGs from ModFlow, import simulation outputs for a USG model, and finally, we can export USGs from LeapFrog for ModFlow import. And this really solves the problem for the hydrogeologists and groundwater modelers out there looking to leverage new functionality in ModFlow 6. So here in the scene, we can see our model boundary conditions defined with our borehole information as well as river attributes. So let's go ahead and open up LeapFrog and take a look. In this model, we have a relatively flat lying sedimentary sequence with a discontinuous sand unit shown in red. Once you've created a geological model, you can use it as the basis for a mod flow model. So previously in LeapFrog using the hydrogeology extension, we were limited to building structured mod flow models. Now we have the option to create unstructured models. To do this, choose the geologic model to grid from. Click on the Layer Guides tab to see which geologic layers will be used in the new model. Now assign the number of layers for each geologic unit and define your minimum thickness. If your boundary is set from another object in the project, you have the ability to toggle on or off the Simplify Boundary box. A lower tolerance value increases the number of points along the boundary. Finally, choose your block size and press OK. With this USG, we can locally refine the grid around features of interest, resulting in smaller cell size and ultimately higher accuracy without the trade-off of longer processing times. To add these refinements, right-click on the 2D grid folder and select New Feature. I'll select my river shapefile, choose if I want to simplify the feature, and press OK. To view all features applied to the grid, Double click on the 2D grid folder and set refinement steps for each feature. More steps will produce greater detail near this feature. In the scene, we can see our refined grid in these areas of interest of our monitoring wells and river attributes. Just like structured grids, we can input our grid parameters by typing them into our hydrogeological properties table. We can also set them from a numeric model in our project, or even from an interpolant estimator to assign initial concentrations. Viewing this data in the scene is quite simple. Change your viewing options to your hydrogeological parameter of interest. Each gridded block will be assigned a value, which can be viewed by clicking directly on a block. So here we can see our initial concentration as well as conductivity value. The unstructured model can be exported to ModFlow USG formats and ModFlow 6 format. If you'd like to incorporate this new functionality into your projects, visit my.sequent.com to download LeapFrog version 2022.1. Also, if you have questions about this feature or any other technical issue with your project, email support at sequin.com and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.